Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aristotle Bossy. For today's video, I'm gonna talk to you about part two of my New York trip with my work best friends, namely Janice, Ronald, Rafi, Chi, and Nicole. So I have this link in the description box and you can also watch the video of part one if you haven't done that yet. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification for my latest vlogs. I do weekly uploads, I do Filipino food mukbang, travels, and anything related to promoting the Filipino identity and culture to the world. Sinumulan namin ang next day na tour namin sa breakfast. So we went to this breakfast place called Junior's Restaurant and Cheesecake. Sikat itong restaurant na ito dahil nakita ko sa mga Filipino vloggers kapag nagbe-visit sila sa New York. Dahil malapit ito sa Times Square at saka malapit siya sa mga central places, dito sila kumakain. I think yung last na napanood ko yung kay Alex Gonzaga, pumunta siya dito, nag-breakfast sila. Ito ay tinatawag na Junior's Restaurant and Cheesecake. Famous sila for their cheesecake and obviously for their breakfast food. So sa restaurant na ito, it's typically American food. So makikita nyo dyan, may mga potatoes, may bread, may omelets, and pancakes. Alam mo ang panalo dito, yung corn beef. It's a revelation for us, corn beef. You know Filipinos, we love corn beef. Yung corn beef na hinanda prior sa amin, I think si Chi at si Rafi nag-order ng corn beef. Para siyang delimondo or may laban siya sa Argentina natin. Napakasarap. Kulang na lang nga actually may kanin eh para solve na solve na. So for today's breakfast, we opted for American breakfast since we were in New York. And for Junior's Restaurant and Cheesecake, Ang ating men na si Rafi at ang kanyang sister na si Chi ang nag-treat sa amin. The other vlog kung napanood nyo sa Refinery Rooftop, ako yung nag-treat. This time around for this restaurant, it was Rafi and his sister Chi. Kailangan namin kumain ng marami dahil we are going to a bus tour which is the second destination. So from Junior's Breakfast, konting lakad lang siya sa Times Square. And then, hinanap namin yung hop-on, hop-off na bus tour. So, ginawa namin ni Janice at ng friend namin si Angel ng 2016 ng hop-on, hop-off bus tour. But it was a different area in New York. So, sa New York, kapag pumunta kayo dun, marami kayong makikita ng mga double-decker. So, yung mga double-decker buses, these are tourist buses which can take you from one tourist destination to the other. You can hop on and off each stop, each destination, so it's fun. So parang medyo hawak mo yung time mo just because each destination pwede kang bumaba, pwede kang sumampa or sumakay, hence the name hop on and hop off. So ang eksena dito, pila kami, tinatanong muna yung mga tickets, parang sort of like checking in, tapos kapag na-check in na ni Kuya, lalakad na kami, pasok kami sa bus, and obviously for this story wanted a different view. So hindi kami sa loob umupo, umakit kami sa taas dahil mas maganda ang view. At true enough, lahat ng tao na nasa pila na yun, lahat kami ay nasa taas. Which is obviously the best view so far kasi double-decker nga, di ba? Kikita nyo yung different view ng buildings ng New York City. Ang unang nakita namin ay ang Times Square. So, sa last video, yun yung una naming pinuntahan. Sa hop-on and hop-off bus tour, ito na naman yung first destination na dinaanan ng bus. So, makikita nyo dahil ang daming tao. Tapos nakita nyo dahil yung mga bright lights, mga LED lights, a lot of billboard. Hello, Jollibee billboard! Chicken Joy ang sarap. Tapos nakikita nyo rin dyan yung famous drop ball or yung screen kapag New Year's Eve. Yung big screen na yan, yung vertical screen na yan, dyan nagda-drop yung ball kapag New Year's Eve. So Times Square yung unang dinaanan ng bus. Pagkatapos nyan, go through the different avenues within New York, within Manhattan. Tapos ang susunod na destination ay ang Flatiron. So yung Flatiron, is under construction, kaya may nakikita kayo dyan mga different nets and even mga bakal dahil under construction siya. So, iconic ang flat iron sa New York because the way it's shaped, para siyang pavi tapos nasa gitna siya. Actually, para siyang phallic symbol. Pero ang ganda niya tignan dahil nakaka-New York ang flat iron pag pinuntahan niya siya. After flat iron, dumaan kami sa loob ng campus ng New York University or NYU. 
So yung NYU is also an iconic university in New York. Maraming mga Pilipinong nagkapagtapos dyan. I think yung anak ni Sharon Cuneta dyan na ngayon nag-aaral. At may mga ibang celebrities din na dyan nag-aaral. So nakikita nyo dyan ang New York University campus. Para siyang glorified at mas malaking UP Diliman. Dahil pwede kang pumasok. At so the way you go around is through either you have a car or you take a bus or you take a lift or Uber. Because it's a big campus. So you have to find your building and you have to like walk for a certain period of time just to get to your next subject or course. So, malaking campus siya na pwede rin daanan ng bus. Kaya nakita namin yung mga different schools and faculties and buildings sa NYU. At ang NYU also ay malapit sa Washington Square which is another iconic um, area or place sa New York. As we went along sa bus tour, medyo nilalamig kami. Buti na lang may dala silang heat packs na very helpful. Ngayon sa Houston, nakasuot ako ng light sweater and sa labas kanina nag-jacket ako kasi sobrang lamig. May Arctic blast ngayon. And to think guys, kahit may araw yan, Sobrang lamig pa rin dahil fall weather and at the same time nasa labas kami exposed. The breeze that's close to the water is freezing. And so at some point talagang gusto na namin bumaba pero sabi namin kaya natin ito dahil may araw naman. Pagkatapos ng NYU campus, nakikita nyo dyan yung mga different buildings. Bricks, white, and then very structured, architecture, yung detalye niya napakaganda. Kapag nakikita ko yung buildings na yan sa mga movies or sa mga series, definitely New York. Lagi nga namin sinasabi, wow, nakaka-New York to dahil ang ganda ng buildings, mga bricks, ganyan. Pagkatapos niya, nakikita nyo rin ang isang iconic building which is the New York Courthouse. Sa isang banda ay ang New York Stock Exchange. Unang kita ko, it reminded me of Manila City Hall pero in a grander scale because as you can see in the video, sobrang laki. Yung mga columns niya or boulders, parang ang ganda ng pagkakagawa. So iconic din siya kapag na-pass ba yan mo ang NYU and dire-diretso ka lang, madadaanan mo ang New York Stock Exchange at ang New York Courthouse. So as we went along and drove by, nag-provide sila ng earphones for the different stops. So in-explain niya kung ano yung nasa left, kung ano yung nasa right, what's the iconic place over here and there. Pagkatapos ng New York Stock Exchange and Courthouse, dinaan na namin yung famous na charging bowl. Yung may malaking bowl. So this is very famous sa Wall Street. It represented sort of like the financial district of New York sa downtown kung saan malapit ang Twin Towers at yung mga businesses, mga naka-coat and tie. Naka Dito sila pumupunta sa my downtown area sa financial district. Hop on, hop off bus tours, hindi na kami bumaba. Because naisip namin, it's just going to be like sightseeing from a different perspective. Medyo elevated yung view namin, sort of like bird's eye view. Other thing was, because siguro nabusog tayo from the meaty and hearty breakfast that we had, Along the way, medyo nakatulog ako. <laughs> Tapos pag, pag gising ko, nasa, nakabalik na kami sa Times Square. I thought that nap was helpful. Can you imagine being exposed? Double-decker ka sa taas ka. You hear the hustle and bustle of the city. But nagawa ko pa rin mag-nap. It's a skill. <laughs> Pero masaya dahil feeling ko ako pagkagising ko, refresh na ako. And pagkabungad ko, pagka-open ng eyes ko, I was already, we were already in Times Square. Back to, to our first destination, our first stop. So by the way, commercial muna tayo. I have a Facebook page and I have a Facebook group. Yung Facebook page, don't forget to click the like and follow button. Pinupost ko rin mga videos ko doon at nag update ako. Samantalang yung Facebook group na Man, ito ay para sa mga loyal subscribers ko at yung mga viewers natin na gusto maging mas close pa sa akin because merong chat doon na you can join well obviously kailangan yung mag-follow muna may pa games din tayo doon at saka more detailed ganap or activities ko doon even my meet and greet na in passing na mabanggit ko yun at kung nagsasabi ako ng mga instruction for the meet and greet so don't forget to like and follow my Facebook page and join my Facebook group and join the chat as well for detailed instructions on a meet and greet and at the same time we get closer and my mapa games din tayo for our loyal subscribers. Okay, what's our next destination? So pagkatapos ng magandang hop on and hop off bus tour na nasa taas lang tayo sitting pretty as we went through different parts of New York City, saan naman tayo pupunta? So kung napapanood nyo, ang series na Gossip Girl. I'm sure, I think I remember I was in high school nung lumabas ito or elementary. Yung Gossip Girl, sikat na sikat. It's an American series of a group of students na nag-aaral sa exclusive schools in New York and life 
of the famous and rich people, teenagers. At yung Met or the Metropolitan Museum of Art, isa yun sa mga laging setting or venue ng shoot nila. Yung girls actually si Chi, si Nicole, and si Janice fans sila ng Gossip Girl. So we made it a point to go visit because you know OOTD shoot, photo shoot. Yung pinupuntahan dito, mariban sa yung actual museum ay yung stairs. Pinasikat ito ng Gossip Girl. So nung pagdating namin doon, ang daming tao. As in parang lahat sila nakaupo doon, pictures here and there. You could distinguish like the locals from the tourists because obviously the locals will just chill or they would just like eat something or drink while basking in the sun. Ang ganda ng araw by the way, yung time na punta kami sa Met. While us tourists, you know, photo shoot here and there, making sure yung sign at the Met ay makikita. So doon kami muna sa stairs, we made sure na may view nung sign at the Met. In, literally like in front of the entrance, like very close to the entrance. Matagal kami doon, mga I would say around 20 minutes spending photo shoots over there sa so stairs, which was fun. Pagkatapos noon, pumasok kami sa Glitza Lobby para tignan lang kung ano ang nasa loob. Kasi the last time we were there, Johnny's Angel and I, we haven't had the chance to enter. Doon lang kami sa stairs at mabilisan lang. But this time around with the group, we went inside, but it was just like the lobby. I think the ticket na nakuha namin was just for the immediate like lobby. We have to pay more, I guess. But we have a glimpse of what it is. I think okay na rin yun kasi nakuha na naman namin yung mga pictures dun sa Met for, from the Gossip Girl inspiration. So the Metropolitan Museum of Art or the Met, check off the list. As we went along with our day, at patapos na nga ang araw namin, we ended up the night with something very different. And when I say different, it has something to do with perspective. And that's the One World Observatory. So yung building na ito, you would be delighted with a bird's eye view. Just because you would see 360, the whole of New York, the skyline, skyscrapers, the rivers, and all the structures that can be seen like from up above because you're literally like up there, one of the tallest buildings in New York, the One World Observatory. So bird's eye view nga ito. So makikita nyo dyan sa entrance. So pumila lang kami ng konti. May slight pila lang, mga 5 to 10 minutes dun sa entrance. Yung feels niya pagkapasok ay, ay mahahalin tulad ko sa Universal Studio Rides or sa mga Disneyland Rides. Parang ganun kasi may mga pasikot-sikot, bright lights, dim lights, dark lights, and then as you go along and navigate through the actual entrance and the escalator and the elevators. So ganun, ganun siya. So doon sa pagkakit namin, doon sa first part ng tour, may orientation mo na. So si Kuya Anjan, nagsasalita. Siyempre kaming mga Pilipino, nasa harap kami, bida-bida, di ba? Para narinig namin lahat at kaming mauna. So nag-orientation lang siya, what it is, what to expect, ano nga ba yung One World Observatory. Tapos, after the quick orientation, we went ahead. So after the quick orientation, we went ahead to the next destination. So merong dyan, parang harang, tapos projector lang siya. So si Kuya, in-explain niya kung anong mangyayari. So, para siyang mga different buildings na naka-project and just explaining how the building was built at the same time of different structures around that building and around New York. Tapos, ang kamangha-mangha, meron kami hindi in-expect sa dulo. Dahil sa dulo ng presentation, biglang umakyat yung projector at yung last scene na nakita namin na being projected ay nakita namin before our eyes panghang-mangha kami because we saw the New York skyscrapers, the river, the structure, even yung Statue of Liberty kita from that area. And it was like a bird's eye view. At kami parang konti na lang iyak kami din. Ang ganda bird's eye view of New York City. It's like one of the best views I've seen in my life. Like literally, no exaggeration. <laughs> and it was unexpected because we thought it was just like a presentation of like naka projector siya. And then boom, my pasabo. Buti na lang nasa harap kami. Ang galing namin. At nakuna ni Janice yun sa video. So nakikita nyo dyan yung ngayong Hudson River, the beautiful New York skyscrapers, yung Statue of Liberty, very tiny siya, pero nakikita siya. Tapos yung remains ng Twin Towers, yung 9-11 attack, doon makikita nyo dyan. So ang ginawa na 
namin after that would be, of course, photo shoots. So, pictures kami here and there. Isa-isa kami. Tapos, dahil nga palubog na yung araw, sunset na yung view. Ang ganda. Nakikita niyo yung mga lights unti-unti nag-umiilaw. At the same time, contrast niya yung, yung backdrop na sunset. Nung una, orange hues. Orange yung color. Tapos, biglang nag-pink. Kung nakatayo ko lang dun and trying to observe and just absorb everything, para kang maluluha. It gave me that moment to like reflect. Eh, alam niyo naman ako, mahilig ako mag-reflect each and every time I go to a place. I don't know, it's the Virgo in me, I guess, or it's just like my personality, really. But, yeah, I was able to really like reflect because ang ganda ng sunset. Yung different hues and colors. And then pagkatapos na mag-reflect nga, kasi tumayo lang tayo dyan, umikot tayo sa buong observatory deck. Meron akong nakita mga upuan dyan. So habang sila nagpo-photoshoot. Midlip na naman guys ako. So midlip ako dun. I think it was about like 10 minute nap. Tapos buti na lang narinig ko yung katabi ko na Russian. I think it was, he, she was a Russian. Pigla siyang tumawa at dahil umihilik ako. <laughs> pagod na pagod tayo guys. Pero the nap was helpful. Tapos chinect ko yung phone ko. Hinahanap na pala nila ako. So tapos na sila nagpo-photoshoot. Buti na lang. Nabasa ko yung text. Five minutes lang naman sila nakintay. So, I told them like, nakatulog ako after the photoshoot and reflection. But it was not bad. I mean, we had fun. At nakapag-rest din sila. <clears throat> so, there you have it. We had a fun day tour today. And that's because we had a different perspective, a different view of New York. We started out with breakfast, very meaty, very hearty. And we went to a hop on, hop off, discover, explore bus tour. Went around the city. Did something very different because of yeah, bird's eye view through the One World Observatory. And of course, we ended up with just us reflecting on life. The day has been and with friends around. So I think kapag napanood nyo tong video na to, lalabas ito, kakalapag ko lang ng Pilipinas. Dahil next week, nasa Pilipinas na ako. At excited na ako, mamit kayo for meet and greet kung sakaling matuloy. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Again, my name is Aristotle Bossy. See you on my next vlog. Bye! Bye.